Hello and welcome to episode 3 of my 1.17 series. In the last episode we built this base and we also built a skeleton spawner farm down there. Uh, in this episode we are going to be making a mob grinder. Um, probably either here or here, I'm not quite sure. And then possibly some little watchtowers on here and here as well as me getting ready to fight the ender dragon. So yeah. Anyway, I'll uh, catch you in the next clip. I don't know what I've done by then. Uh, currently, I'm just trying to decide where to put mob farming. Um, there, maybe. I need to decide. I'm not sure where, but somewhere close, but not too far. No, I meant close, but not too close, even. Because I want some distance. I also need to smelt some stuff so I'm also going to have to build a small smelting room and I was just thinking some simple building or something similar to this so yeah and anyway, I gotta get down on that got some wood now collected uh, right how am I gonna build this out this way maybe I don't know I'll catch you in a minute and tell you what I and show you what I did well um furnace room acquired here it is. It's not exactly pretty. Doesn't look very good. It's more function and trying to fit in with the general aesthetic going on in my area of wood. Dark uh, and light. Really, that's all I'm trying to do. Don't know why I did it like that. It just worked, so I did it. Anyway, so we got that down there. Plenty of them. I'm going to need to get some charcoal, some coal, whatever. Something to fuel it. Uh, so then yeah and I need to smelt up some stone and then I need to build a mob grinder which I still haven't decided where to put oh come on magic you can work this out okay I'll catch you when I've smelted a bunch of stone <laughs> stone and have made a decision on where to build okay so I picked a location it's a bit dumb it's basically just straightforward and uh, yeah, I built up and currently making the thing to bring them all in because this one's not going to be an automatic one. Oh, how wrong I was! Don't know why I would need it because I don't have an Enderman farm yet, uh, so I just might sit down at the bottom and slash. But I might end up get making it automatic, though I think I'll make a better one for an automatic one anyway. So that's what I've done. I put it here uh, and I'm currently building it up. Ow! Uh, so yeah. I need to get it built, uh, and then I'll catch you in a bit when it's done. It's going to be a simple design. Dispensers, water, observers, clock. And then down there, fall, I kill. Simples. Catch you in a sec. Uh, so, hey, welcome back. I didn't build the mob grinder fully yet, um, because <clears throat> I need to build a water elevator. I also need some more stone, so to make my life easier, I need kelp. And so I need to make a rudimentary kelp farm. So currently I'm just mining out an area to A, get cobblestone, and B, make room for the uh, kelp. My friend's lag's putting up a, uh, oh, where's he on? He was over there, I think, a, a uh, beacon to help mine it out. And then I'm just going to put some kelp down here. Because uh, there's water above us, just there. So yeah, actually, you know what? I'll break it out for now and just come show you what's going on. So it's going along nicely. It's not done. I've got the layers done. I decided to do 10 just because it's a nice round number. Um, that pillar will be taken out, don't worry. That's just because uh, I was needing to build up. I can take it out now, actually. I decided to go with a stupid design for the collection system of them of them themselves. Just because I wanted it to look different. It looks different and it will still work just fine. Uh, it won't change anything. It's just the normal design for a square but these bits have to be added because this is too big because well that relies on the maximum distance the water can flow and so does this so it never would have functioned anyways observers looking down um detecting the water above send an impulse into the water and then take it out oh i forgot about this yeah you don't need to see the top it's fine anyway so yeah um that's what that <laughs> that's how that works uh currently i'm just getting some more cobble, smelting it, uh, going back over there occasionally because I've got a cobblestone grind, 
cobblestone gen now in my actual skeleton farm. So that's quite useful. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Need to do a bit more mining. I also blocked off the top here because originally I was mining in the water. And then I was like, this is just taking so long. Why not just do it um, there itself? So I did. Anyway, catch you in a bit. Well, I uh, was working away on this. <laughs> I was working away, getting kelp, getting ready. And then I realized uh, bone wheel works on kelp. And now I feel exceptionally stupid uh, because this meant I never had to build this. That being said, it won't be of any kind of harm to have this. Uh, I'm currently just using bone meal, getting it done, and then I'll go ahead and make a water elevator. But this is rather irritating. <laughs> uh, the reason I need a water elevator is because I need to AFK up in the sky. It's that simple. So, you know, I could use a ladder, but... And eventually I'll just fly up there. But for now I need a water elevator to get me to my peak position. Which will be 128 blocks above there. So yeah. It means I need to light up all this. Um, may as well can, I can do this, can't I? Nice. Make it look all pretty. There's no need to do this, but I will. Anyway, so right, I need to get some... Do I need glass? It'd look better if I had glass. And then, yeah. Okay, let's grab some glass. It won't be har harmful to have this much kelp anyway. Right, I need to sleep, get some glass. So I need to find my nearest desert. Cool. And I need to make a shovel. Catch you in a bit. Well, uh, it's made to a degree. I just finished off the roof here. Uh, I'm currently just trying to get my hands on... Where's my stone? Wait, stone's in my inventory. Got plenty of iron from Lag's iron farm. Okay, so let's grab that. Uh, redstone. I must have some lying around somewhere. I need to build a redstone clock up the top there. Oh, am I going to have to go mining? Uh, Got to go check my other chests. Looks like I'm going to have to go mining. Not a happy thought. Come on. Uh, should be some iron. No. Some redstone over here. Uh, here we go. There's some. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, there's some glass in there. Why did I get iron? Uh, what's the recipe again? Uh, quartz. Nah, let's just make a very, very overcomplicated one of them. Okay, so I need some wood. Let's grab some wood, and then I'll catch you guys back up there when I've crafted a lot, a lot of repeaters. Uh, so it's basically all done now. Uh, it's pretty much completed. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Chests. So, currently I'm just getting collection system ready. Yeah, so it's pretty much done. I'll show you in a moment. Just gotta... No, I don't want that many. I need double, so... Okay, that's roughly correct. Uh, actually, no, I need a little bit more than that. I don't need to get them exactly right. That'll do, for now. Okay, so it's complete. Um, it works really well when uh, AFKing up the top. If anyone else is on, or anyone else is loading anything else, it's not as good. Just because it hits the mob cap and it's not very great. But as long as I'm stood up there, then the thing runs brilliantly. It's never going to run good while I'm down here. I'll have to get my second account in to show you how well it runs. Uh, wait, where? Oh, yeah. Anyway, so... There's so much stuff here. I need to get this place down. Oh, you can climb ladders. I forgot that. Do they have thorns on something of that? Anyway. So. You know what, I'll put the hoppers down in a minute. I'll show you before I say goodbye. Because uh, this is it, really. So, we go up here. Uh, we've got the most peculiar collection system ever. Just designed the way I want it. Uh, really poor, maybe a bit quick. Nah, no, it's about right. 
hoppercock uh, and just to make my life easy because I didn't have any pistons to push a block on and off I just put some water there and used a dispenser to give m myself a single observer update because if you have the redstone go directly above it it doesn't help because it turns on and then it turns off again so I just did it there are redstone ways you can make it better um, but I decided that I wouldn't do that so yeah anyway so let's put that's how it works. Uh, I think it's about time I put these hoppers down and uh, I cut end the video. Don't know how long this is. It's probably about 10 minutes again, hopefully. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay, so one there. Oh, uh, just not, it's not helpful, that stuff falling down while you're trying to place stuff down, is it? Hopefully this doesn't overwhelm, actually. That will get overwhelmed. So let's do the smart thing for now because eventually I'm going to need to put a sorting system in. But for now, I'll just do this, which should hopefully mean that it doesn't get overloaded as much by not drawing everything into one thing and limiting it. Now it will uh, go to the. Okay. I, uh, because I changed the keybinds, it doesn't work very well. Uh, how am I going to do this? I need some. That should do. Okay. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Uh, this has been good. At, not not too. We built a lot actually. That's a lie. A lie. We built a lot, and it's quite good actually. I'm quite happy with how much I built this episode. Uh, next episode should be an iron farm or actually killing the ender. Oh, kidding me! I did it. I put them the wrong way around. Anyway, but. It should be killing the Ender Dragon, and, um, oh, how am I going to do this? Oh, yeah, um, yeah, so it should be killing the Ender Dragon, and an Iron Farm is the next episode. I don't know which one it will be, it just depends on my friends, uh, when we actually get around to killing the Ender Dragon, so yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, goodbye.